welcome back to my uh, video about adding additional subnet on one subnet on Windows 2003 um, as I said I'm not going to create uh, a, a router on a, w on a Windows but I will use a router I will I will add another router on the current subnetwork which is uh, I put that on an IP the router is connected on this one and on my X on my uh, client XP which I configured uh, manually that is connected to the subnet that is still pointing to the DNS uh, DC1 and DC2 it's 2.90 and I'm configuring the the router the router is a tomato firmware but this is a Linksys uh, WRT uh, 45, uh, 54 GL and on my basic connection so I configure that as static on the one it's connected in 130 and the default gateway is the is the 100 which is the DC1 and I put the router IPS 2.1 on the subnet B and but the DNS static is the this one I don't enable the DHCP server on this router because we will use the the relay of the DC2 which is this IP 101 and I don't need to enable the wireless so let's go first to the DC uh, to the main uh, domain controller and check if it's still this one is replicating which is it does let's see the other way around it's still replicating so on the subnets we will create a new subnet and we will say and also point to the vSphere because that's additional subnet so we have not we have now subnet A and subnet B. So unlike with my previous uh, video, I have three NICs here. Now it's just one NIC. One is just for the internet. It is my internet routing, and this is the subnet A routing. Now since I have my routing and remote access here, I need to put a static routes here that the, the routing of the subnet will go to that gateway and if you add if you add it there it's like new static and you put all the information here um, you will find it on your on your netstat that you have the routing here so let's create the the DHCP relay that again new routing protocol and we will use uh, select DHCP re relay agent and it's supposed to be here and on the properties here we will put the DC2 which is 1.1.101 and we will say we will click add and apply and ok and in here new interface since our interface is on local area connection the subnet A that is where our uh, subnet B is connected so we will use that one and just use the default now let's go to the DC2 um, on our DHCP let me create the MMC first on the background okay let's configure our DHCP first uh, since uh, we don't have credential here so let's go to properties advanced and credentials ah, let's save it and then let's go back there so just put the administrator and the domain and put the password and then save it so um, let's create the this the new scope first for that uh, new uh, let's call the DCP user and the range is 10.1.2.100 say uh, up to 250 and it's a 24 bit next there's no exclusion yet I want to configure it and our gateway is uh, 10.1.2.1 and 
as the router I click next and I add domain sbsphere.com vc1 resolve add and vc2 resolve add click next and there's my win server activate now finish and then on our we will create a super scope because that is another subnet uh, subnet user and we will select this one and finish so it will stay inside so if we have another subnet it will go on the super scope and I run another client which is also point uh, on a the uh, subnet B uh, this was this is a previous one that's why there's a data there so let's try to repair it it's going to uh, get a new address so in this case this one will work with the new uh, subnet and it will give all the new uh, and it's still using the DC one as a D DHCP server So this will conclude my uh, video for the uh, adding a subnet with a router interface.